I'm Phil Bolton with the Global Atlanta News Service, and I'm here today with the Consul General of France, Mr. Pascal Le Dunf. Welcome. Well, good afternoon. You have a vigorous schedule for 2010. Tell us about it. Well, uh, there are already um, a lot of uh, uh, French uh, associations and French-American institutions that are present and very active in, uh, in uh, Georgia and in Atlanta in particular. Uh, but I think a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of things can, do, uh, can be done uh, to uh, make them uh, more dynamic and energetic. One way that uh, we're going to use to do that is to uh, um, relocate the Consulate General of France in Atlanta together with the economic mission, the French-American Chamber of Commerce, uh, Atlanta ICA, which is uh, an association to welcome French people to Atlanta, and other associations that are ki taking care uh, of uh, the French people in, uh, in uh, Atlanta to make them work together a little bit more. You're going to be doing this uh, near Lenox Square, is that correct? Yes, the new office of the Maison de la France will be located in the Lenox building, uh, close to Len Lenox Square, as of uh, the end of May of 2010. And you expect synergies, I suspect? Yes, I, I want these people to work closely together and uh, um, hopefully the, uh, conduct uh, projects, common projects, together. One of the projects that uh, I will uh, make them work together is uh, France Atlanta, which is uh, a series of uh, scientific, uh, trade and investment, uh, cultural as well as humanitarian events, uh, just after Thanksgiving this year in 2010, over a period of uh, two weeks, um, to make uh, progress in the relation between France and this part of the United States. Wonderful. Um, could you tell us some of the programs that you have in mind? We'll have uh, scientific symposiums, especially on viruses, cancer, uh, together with Georgia Tech and uh, Emory. We will have uh, uh, also uh, uh, trade and investment uh, uh, seminars on different sectors as uh, logistics, such as log logistics, biotechnologies, uh, transportation. Uh, we will have wonderful artists coming from France and share their, uh, uh, their expositions and, and, and shows. Uh, we will also have a, a humanitarian uh, uh, aspect of these events, uh, recreating in Atlanta um, a refugee camp to where to raise awareness of the, the students, uh, K-12 students in Georgia, about uh, this, uh, uh, these problems of refugees that uh, too many countries unfortunately experience. Describe that camp. How is it going to look and where is it going to be? We're working on it together with uh, a few NGOs, uh, uh, French and American, uh, and also with the Carter Center. Uh, to uh, once again uh, show to the, especially to the young generation, uh, the, the why, the how uh, these problems arise and how these people uh, have to survive and how the international community help them. The funds that you raise will go to Haiti and will they be um, distributed to NGOs or will they go to specific programs that we you're will, running? Uh, we, will, uh, we will give them to, uh, to NGOs. France has been very involved with uh, refugees all over the world. Does it have a special department in its government to deal with these uh, questions? Well, the main responsibility lies with the French Ministry of uh, uh, Foreign and uh, uh, European Affairs. Uh, there is a very strong department taking care of this, but we work together with uh, NGOs, uh, French NGOs, and together, of course, with the international organizations and partners. Has bringing uh, Emory and Georgia Tech together been a challenge? This is easy. This is easy. Georgia Tech has accepted to uh, co-organize the, the series of events, France Atlanta, that I was talking about. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll do that in partnership wi with them. And Emory uh, will uh, do a symposium on, uh, on cancer therapy. Uh, the future of cancer therapy uh, with them at Emory University uh, uh, the weekend after Thanksgiving. And will you bring uh, French scientists? Of course, the idea is to build new bridges between France and this part of the U.S. So we will bring uh, high-level scientists in this uh, particular domain to uh, discuss their new uh, uh, research and results uh, with their American colleagues. 
Will they be from the Pasteur Institute, from yeah. uh, on virus, Lyon? On Where viruses, we will plan to have uh, uh, researchers from uh, uh, Pasteur Institute. And we're working also very closely with Toulouse, uh, which has a very special relation with Atlanta as a sister city, uh, to bring uh, uh, invest potential investors, uh, uh, companies, uh, scientists, and, uh, and others uh, to Atlanta at this time of the, of the year. Will there be activities in France that are related to this uh, initiative? Hopefully, yes, because uh, at the, the beginning of this uh, project is the celebration of a, a special, very special partnership between Georgia Tech and METS in France, at the, in the eastern part of, uh, of France. Uh, this uh, partnership is not only an exchange of students, not only an exchange of teachers, it is also uh, a common uh, joint project, uh, research project in uh, optoelectronics, and it is going to be this year uh, the 20 years uh, uh, anniversary of this uh, experience. It is also the year of the creation of the Lafayette Institute in Metz, an institute which will be designed to create startups from the res results of the joint research between Georgia Tech and Metz. So I, I'm sure that in Metz there will also be some celebration.